In this step, we're going to talk about the beginning draining phases of our transmission pan. What you're going to want to do is use a block or a milk crate or uh, possibly even a floor jack. Place your drain pan underneath the trans and get it as close as possible. We're going to start taking out the bolts from one side and then loosening the bolts on the other side to let the pan drop and drain out as much fluid before we get, begin the final removal. I'm going to go ahead and slide it underneath the vehicle and get started. All right, what we're going to do is remove the bolts from one side of the transmission pan. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that process for you. There's a bolt right there. They're real small, fine thread bolts. So you're gonna to wanna to be real gentle taking them out and putting them back in. Drop it in my magnetic tray, continue moving around, taking them out. We're going to leave three bolts on the side that we're not taking them out of, but we're going to loosen them up significantly. Um, we only want to leave about three or four threads in the transmission. What that'll do, like I said earlier, is allow that pan to drop down, but not plop off into our drain pan. When it drops down, we're going to drain about 50% of the fluid out of the pan. We will then remove our drain bucket, hold the pan up tight with our hands and level, Take the rest of the bolts out and very carefully slide the pan into the drain pan. All right, once you have most of the transmission bolts out of one side, I got them out all the way around here of your transmission pan, you're going to place your drain pan below it. Like I said, try and get as close as possible to the trans pan. You're going to take a rubber mallet like I have here and start thumping on the edge of the trans pan. You want to hit it on this area here. That is the strongest part of your transmission pan. As you can see, we broke the seal and the transmission fluid is gonna drain out this side of the pan. Those bolts up in here are still holding it to keep from spilling it all over the place. That is the proper way to begin the draining procedure for your transmission pan.